Up next, 450 Beats, an exclusive listening session featuring Marit Bagley and Carlos Arroyo. Hosted by Super Music Executive and Rock Nation's Senior Vice President of Artist Management, Lenny S. Breaking down fan-submitted tracks with Grammy Award-winning producer, Hit Boy. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Hope everybody is well. You are here. This is the PlayerCon 450 Beats presented by MBPA. This is going to be a good night. We got a lot of good people. We got three important guests. These three guests, I don't have as many accolades and accomplishments as they do, but I am Lenny S. I am the Senior Vice President at Rock Nation. I come from AR. I come from management. I've worked with some of your best producers, some of your best artists, some of your best writers. And I'm here just to lend a helping hand of what we have going on. And I'm the host of this emerging producer listening session. So I want to bring up my guests and let's get this thing going. Wow, oh, what's up, brother? What's going on? Good, good, good. So everybody, please welcome my brother Marvin Backley. Talented brother, ACC Rookie of the Year 2018, ACC Player of the Year 2018. I mean, second overall pick in the NBA draft. I mean, career overall averages of 14 points, 7.5 rebounds, one assist per game. You got a dope album called Big Dreams with my brother Iman Shumper at Famous Los. And um, he's here to tell the story, man, and let you know, you know, what's going on. How's it going, Mark? I'm good. How you doing, man? Happy to good, be here. Good, good, good. Appreciate you coming aboard, man. No problem, man. I'm glad, glad to be here. Glad to have this, you know, platform to talk about music and you know, just you know, how, how it all started. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna have to listen to some stuff later. You ready to judge? Hey, man, let's do it. I'm here. I'm with it. I'm with everything, man. Let's get it going. All right, bet, bet, bet. Let's bring up the next guest, my brother Carlos. Carlos, what's good, brother? What's going on? What's going on, fellas? Good, good, good. Good, man. Happy to have you here, man. This is Carlos Arroyo. This is the BSN All-Star MVP 2017. This is the Spanish Super Cup winner 2015. I mean, this guy has a career average of 6.6 .6 points per game, 3.1 assists, 1.7 rebounds. He's won 12 medals for the same place that I'm from, the same country. I was born in Puerto Rico. Carlos is from Puerto Rico. Good, my brother. What's going on, baby? Boricua. <laughs> good, good. Happy to have you here, man. You ready to listen to some good music? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most definitely. <clears throat> and we're looking forward to your music. We're looking forward to your video and everything you got going on, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Last but not least, my brother, Hip Boy. Hit, where you at? Yo, yo. There he goes. Hit, what's Lenny good? Yes, in the spot. What's the deal? What's going on? Good. Been a minute. Been a minute. How you been, bro? Good, man. You already know. Just locked in, working. Yeah, Same more. Well. well, we can't have an emerging producer listening session without one of the biggest and best producers in the music business. This is Hit Boy. I can't even name all the people he's produced. Multi Grammy winner. Everybody from Jay Z, Kanye, Nipsey Hustle. Nas, King's Disease one and two. Uh, yes, sir. Benny uh, the Butcher and everybody. My man Hip Boy is up in the clouds in the highest, biggest records, and he's still in the mud. So yes, man, Hip Boy, I'm glad you're here, bro. Uh, appreciate y'all having me. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you, bro. Straight up, salute. Let's get into it. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Um, here we go. First, we're going to start it off by, um, I guess, basically, let's talk about making tracks, producing tracks, what tracks are good, what track, what makes tracks good and what doesn't make them good. So let's start with, like, what what actually, and everybody can go in any order, what makes a, a beat hot? I think the sound choice, personally, that's always been my thing, just trying to make sure you got sounds that just... As soon as you hear them, they just hit the air a certain way. You know what I'm saying? And making sure the tempo and the BPM is just moving people. 
Los, what you think? I think for you know, urban Spanish music is is all about vibes and uh, you know, obviously music is is all about the energy. You know, the, it projects. You know, when you come in the studio and you collab with the people that you know you find that the right energy with, and it just hits the right you know uh, uh, the right space when you come in the studio. You know what I'm saying? Surround yourself with the right people and just just vibe you know what i'm saying and just you know hits will come along as long as you, you you're in the studio with the right the right motion and the right energy so i think that you know once once you have all that stuff you know i think the hits come along you know so mm -hmm. as far as you know spanish music is, yeah yeah Marvel, it's all about, you know that then energy you know what i'm saying absolutely absolutely no for me uh... what do you think Marvel? For me, it's about you know how I make the, the beat, whatever beat it is, how I make you feel at that time. Um, I like my, for me personally when I go record and I go in the studio and I listen to beats, I pick the one that make me feel a certain way and, and is, is the one that's for that moment. You know what I mean? Because I might like a beat uh, now, or I might not like a beat and go listen to it a week from now and then turn around and like that same beat just because yeah. uh, I'm in a different mindset or I'm in a different you know, zone, I feel a different way. So um, it's just about how it sounds and how it make you feel for me is what make a beat tough. And, and that's how I, you know, get on different songs and, and make different songs. And um, like like Carlos was saying, different vibes. So uh, if, if it sounds good and make me feel a certain way at that moment, then I'm, I'm gonna go record to it, I'm gonna go write, uh, and I'm just gonna vibe to it and, and make a song to it. I know some producers, right? They have like a signature sound and, and, and while at the same time, obviously, you're very diverse and you make different sort of tracks that go different ways for different artists. But tell me the process of like mastering the sound and mastering your sound. Uh, <clears throat> personally, I think it just come from uh, the, the repetition, just doing it so much that you get in your bag, you got your, you know, your specific ways, you put it together, your, your cheat codes, I guess you could say, like things that just come easy to you. I feel like the easier it is to make, the more people like it. That's the craziest thing. Like the beats that I cook up and it's like an instant vibe within like five, 10 minutes, then be the joints that be going. So yeah. I guess just trying to really capture that, that essence with, you know, in a short uh, period of time. Yeah. I mean, to me personally, like now that I'm retired, like this is my gym right now, you know, it's like, when I was playing, going to the gym and getting 500 shots a day was what, you know, got my rhythm back in the game. Or if I had a bad game the next morning, I was just there, just work on my skills. This is my gym. So I'm trying to perfect my, my, my craft, you know, by coming here every day and just working on my music and just finding myself, you know. So <clears throat> that's just me personally. You know? mm -hmm. Marvin, what you think? Mastering your sound. Oh, uh, for me, I mean, I'm not a producer. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the sound of what you do, the tracks that you're picking. Yeah, no, I mean, me, yeah, no, for me, my sound, <clears throat> mastering it is, you know, I like, I think I'm a, my biggest critic. Um, you know, I want it to be perfect when I release something, you know, because a lot of people that, um, there's a lot of guys in the NBA that make music and that do it um, just to do it. But for me, my whole thing is to show the world that I'm not just doing it just because I, got time on my hands or whatever. I really love it. I have a passion for it. So me taking time whenever I release, you know, project songs, just me taking that time out to, uh, you know, perfect it and make it sound the best I can for the people can hear. So the people can hear it and take me serious. I think that's my biggest thing. And, um, you know, that's what I try to do mm -hmm. every time I put anything out. Uh, it's perfecting it to make it perfect for the people yeah. to hear. Music takes a lot of time, man. And you know, getting yeah. perfect something is it's just it takes a lot of time and hours, especially when you're a basketball player, like yeah. Our routine is normally like you go to practice, then you know, go back home, get some lunch and if you wanna get shots at night or whatever. Like music is like these producers, you know the hours is crazy, like eleven at night, maybe five in the morning, go to sleep, eat something and then go get back in it. Wow. It's just it's just a constant grind that you know, and, and, and that's what makes it special because, you know, you just listening to music and trying to find the right, the right, you know, note or what, the right rhythm that fits you personally. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. How, how important is uh, validation, like your music being validated and, and, and what that process is, like getting your music, your tracks or your songs, you know, validated by what we, whether it's the public or your peers 
or just fans or whatever? What, what do you stand on validation? Well, I think it's just a good feeling, you know, and it, it gives you more energy, I guess you could say, to keep going. And it's, it's motivating in, in a sense, like, uh, you put you know to put the work in and you put it out and just to see the reception the way the way people take it in it's like man i gotta make more of this like i'm, I'm motivated to keep it going yeah uh for me um uh, it's, it's a good feeling when you have people that support your music and you know like what you're doing with your music um but i mean i've always told myself that the music that i make is going to be personal it's going to be real it's going to be positive telling a story, telling, if not mine, somebody around me, my friends, closest uh, family members that I can, you know, pick their brains and just make music about. It's always about making that music and reaching people for me. So when it comes to validation, I don't really, you know, look for it in, in a way to where it's like, um, like I'm always searching for it. Like I said, it's always great to have it, but I don't, at the end of the, same, at the, end of the day, I don't, you know, go into it like, like, damn, I hope hope they like this or I hope they um, I need to make something like this for them to like. I need to do this. I need to because that yeah, you do it for you first. I, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't I that's where I start to get messed up and trying to make stuff where I oh, this might be hot right now. Some they might like this and I start trying to and it never works, you know, for me personally. So I just do whatever I feel at the moment. Like I said, whatever come on my heart, what's coming from my heart. That's what's going to be on the song. And you know, if you like it, then it's for you. And if you don't, then you know, it's not for you at the end of the day. And that's how I attack it and, and, and go about it. Uh, Hit, question. How big are you and how important is uh, instrumentation? You know, I know you do a lot of tracks. You play a lot of stuff yourself, but maybe bringing in, you know, other strings or chords or how important is instrumentation in your music? Oh, it's, uh, it's super important just because that feeling sometimes it's like you know I, I'll, I'll push it to the max and you know just max out my musical capabilities but it's sometimes it's like man i know this dude who's like that's what he does he plays piano he plays bass he plays guitar full time so i'm gonna bring this person in just so i could take that emotion over the top you know it's really that's what it boiled down to trying to dig you know deep enough to, to capture them emotions as a um uh you know, we live in a culture where there's, you know, there's a lot of big moments, memorable moments. I wanted to ask the question just to you guys from a fan perspective, is there a track or obviously your artist, is there a song that you like, maybe necessarily wish you did or, or feel like, man, that shit cold. Like, I, I kind of wish that was my track or my song. I think we all can relate. Like, uh, I mean, I'm a fan of the music, you know, in general. I mm -hmm. like every type of music. And um, obviously, there's some times that I'll be in the studio and I'll make, I'll make a couple songs. And then the next week, I stop listening to it because I like the new one that I, you know, I just recorded. And it's just a constant, you know, just pushing myself, trying to get better, trying to find a new sound. And I, I think when you, when you make a good song, like, you feel it. You know, this is it. This is the one I want to release, you know. Uh, like... For example, I, I'm trying to release on a, on a monthly basis just at least one song just to get my platform going and get my fan base just following my music. And it's just hard, man, because you, you, you come in here and you, I'm very critical of my music and everything I do because I pay attention to detail, like, just like I was as a basketball player. So I'm extra critical and, and I just be here hours and hours to the point where my wife is like, yo, when you're coming home, what's going on? You know, like, you know, but I'm, I'm just perfecting my craft because I know how demanding, uh, the, the fan base is, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the music, and especially us, like they know us as basketball players. So if we release some to be streamed and, and, you know, for the fans that really follow our music, it has to be perfect. You know, it has yeah. to be something that we run it by producers that we feel comfortable and we respect or our, or our family members or, you know, friends that we know they love music and they follow music. And once we, at least me, you know, once I do all that, then I'm like, okay, this song is, this is, this is what's coming out. Yeah. Well, yeah I mean, I don't go ahead. No, I'm saying to kind of go off that. Um, yeah. Like as, as, as an NBA player, basketball player, you got to make sure if I'm, you know, like I said, I'll take this music thing. I'll take it serious. I love, it's another passion of mine and I want people to take it serious. So like you said, when you make a song and you feel like it's a good song, um, 
me personally, I sent it. I sent it to people that I'm close with, that I trust, people whose, whose opinions that I trust. Um, and and I always, you know, get opinions like that. Because, like I said, the validation is a good thing, but it's something that I don't focus on. But to know that somebody is like, okay, this is hard. You could change this. You could change that. Or maybe do this a little different. Add this. Take that out. Um, that always helps me, you know, as you know, a musician and creating like uh, different songs, and different vibes for people to to listen to and vibe out to. So um, that was something that you said, Carlos, that I agree with is is perfecting it to the point where, you know, they take it serious and, and you want to listen to it. Hit, you've worked on, um, I mean, almost with everybody. Is there, is there anybody that you haven't worked with that you like to? Um. I can't. Even, I can't. Yeah. Even, bro. I, want, I mean, honestly, I'll be open, bro. I like. I like. Yesterday, literally, like I had Dream Doll in here, and then I had Alicia Keys in here. So it's like I'm. Wow. I just be trying to work on every side of the spectrum yeah. and see if I can deliver something that is going to touch the core and, and, and make them want to make a song. You know. Yeah. And, and you see, I said that earlier, man. That, that's what I love about you as a producer. You know, some producers. Sometimes, you know, they, they get great accolades and they make great accomplishments and hit records and they kind of like stay evolving where they won't maybe go down and necessarily work with newer artists or artists that aren't as popular. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like for you to do Benny the Butcher and Jay-Z and Kanye and Nas, you know what I'm saying? I think that's amazing. Uh, no, I appreciate that. You already know. I mean, that's a, just a part of uh, I like I like working with different people just because I get to learn. I get to grow. I get to see their process. And I'm like, that's so many free gems that if you paying attention to it. Right, so let's get into the, uh, the beat submissions. Let's do it. Oh, wait, sorry. And his Wi-Fi tripping. He went offline, ain't he? <laughs> Man. I ain't had that laptop plugged in. Yeah. Yo, Marv, how long you been doing music, man? Man, I've been writing since I was five, six years old, man, since I was a kid. For real? <laughs> yeah, man, I, was, I used to always go you know, to work out, practice, school, do my homework. And then when I'm done, I start writing music, writing raps. I, I didn't really start recording until sophomore year in high school where I was recording more, but I, don't know, I love it. That's dope, man. Hey, okay. so, so, so sorry about that. Y'all can hear me now? Yeah. Yes, yeah, you can, okay. yeah. I just connected for a second. Sorry about that. All good. All right, let's get into it. Y'all ready to hear some tracks? Some That's upcoming good. producers? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, this is the MBPA PlayerCon 450 Beats. I am your host, Lenny S. We have Marvin, we have Carlos, we have Hit Boy. We're about to get into these uh, submissions. So let's get into the listening session for the fan submission beats. This is how it's going to work. When I call your name, you'll be brought up to the stage. You can intro your beat, and then we'll listen, and then we'll give you some feedback. So um, let's do it. First up, we have Gabriel Hamilton. Gabriel Hamilton. Hi everyone, my name is Nathan. Um, I submitted my beat, uh, it's called Dirty Don. The reason why I named it Dirty Don was because it's kind of like a rock influenced trap hip hop beat. Um, I've Coming been up. producing for about four years now. Um, I'm a student of the Savannah College of Art and Design, huge fan of Hit Boy and Lenny S. I've been studying you guys from as long as I can remember, um, getting into music production. 
Um, so yeah. There we go. How you doing, bro? Good, how are you? Good, good. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. So, so I like the uh, tempo, like the way you took it. You know, you couldn't really tell where it was going to go at first, and then it dropped into that kind of up tempo vibe. So, I like where you took it as far as that perspective for sure. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Do you want you want to go to? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Hey, no, I, I like I like the oh, wait. <laughs> Hit boy spoke, man. man. He, they want to hit hit boy. Man, let, 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 let him, let him, let him. He got it. <laughs> man. man, he got up out of there. Yeah, he, he did. Man, See, who next out. then? My man, Wi-Fi. What? Yo, yo. So Zay, what's up? It's Zay Tobin. Zay T, let's go up. On your feet. Going bonkers, going banana. Yeah, it's time to go up. It's on the floor. It's in the air. It's all in. All gas, no break. Zay Tobin said that. You suck shit, nigga. Ain't no suck shit. Keep your head on. 
I thought we were listening to beats. Oh. I like the vibe, man. It's kind of slow. I'm more of a up tempo type type guy, you know. But it was cool. I like it. Yeah, same man. I like I like the message. Uh, I like the message I was in it. Uh, but yeah, it was a, it was it was slow. It was a little slow. I like like you said. I like the can nod my head to it, dance to it. You yeah. you can dance to that too. But, um, yeah. but yeah, the message the message was there for sure. Yeah. Well, I could say the same. I, I like some of the bars he was saying, and he kept his little melody going for sure. Yeah, that's my shooter. Coco. Yo, Benji. Baby, you should get paid for it. You've never seen euphoria. Only pain and terror you've been dreaming about, and it's been waiting on you. And you over there telling me that you numb to the pain. You tell me that you done playing games. How the fuck I let you talk me into giving you the world? And I get see this girl I wanted to, but I ain't chasing for it. They say love is natural. Growing up in church, fall asleep to the pastor's soul. I ain't listen to his word. I kept getting distracted. Oh, I see T lady, I'm wrong. You can forgive me after. I finished screaming euphoria. Supposed to be feeling excitement, but they so tough inside. They feeling like a warrior. You take the armor off, they go back to being the same person they used to be. The way you over there, baby, you should get paid for it. You've never seen euphoria, only pain and terror you've been dreaming about, and it's been waiting on you. And you over there telling me that you numb to the pain. You tell me that you done playing games. How the fuck I let you talk me into giving you the world? And I get see this girl I wanted to, but I ain't chasing for it. Go tell them that you next up. Stop fucking around and get your bread up. Them ducks don't bite, they just fed up. They hunger like you, but you ain't give up. You ain't no cheater, but you in that jaw on Warrior wants instead of warrior, run humble. Overthinking too much, cause you might stumble. But that's double trouble. Close your eyes, look to the light, and follow the tunnel. Where you go? The way you overthink, baby, you should get paid for it. You've never seen euphoria, only pain and terror you've been dreaming about, and it's been waiting on you. And you over there telling me that you numb to the pain. You tell me that you done playing games. How the fuck I let you talk me into giving you the world? And I get see this girl I wanted to, but I ain't chasing for it. Yeah. That was dope. I like the vibe on that. He came with the whole little visual and everything. Yeah, yeah. I like, I like that. Delivery was nice too, man. I like it. I, I like how you use that word euphoria. Like yeah. he flipped it. Uh, that, that was tight. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That was Brandon. I like him a lot. I like the visual. The song was pretty dope, pretty catchy. I like yeah. that. Same. Same. I like the vibe of that one. That was a smooth vibe. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's telling the story. So, you know, I like that. Sound like he was comfortable too with himself as an artist. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. He the records for a minute. He was comfortable. He knows who he is. 
I, I like that. Next up. your mama uh, yeah i got your mama looking at me it's old man marco it's old man marco it's old man marco it's old man marco yeah i got your mama uh, yeah i got your mama looking at me it's old man marco it's old man marco it's old man marco it's old man marco each day where the wind comes apace The birds have turned away And you have now gone away I love the friend, she went away What song you sing? Afraid of love, run away, pursuit and chase Keep this pain away Each day your love infatuate Penetrate, invade my space I hear your name, I feel your face You ride away, can win this race My soul erase, stay awake Can take this place, ventilate Plant and push away Uh, yo in my feelings, that bar was really sappy. Don't trip your mama got me, cause it's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. Yeah, I got your mama. Uh, yeah, I got your mama looking at me. You probably think I'm capping, cause it's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. Each day I shot the fade away. West might used to be the place, man's could really shoot the three traps, so I evade my space, pivot retreat from out east, live my words righteously, there's now no cost of price of feet. Each day they train the pain away, an outlet to escape, hooping hills anxiety, now the youth can rage away, Coach Thomas here to save the day, assist young lives, make less mistakes, a voice to bring the game some faith. Huh, yo. You guessed it, they moms was looking at me. Slim jeans, you see, I'm packing, cause it's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. It's old man Marco. Yeah, I got your mama. Uh, yeah, I got your mama looking at me. LeBron be really snapping, cause he old man Marco. He old man Marco. He old man Marco. He old man Marco. Each day, I bust my ass. Text my mom to go to class, shot and winds will blow you back for them on the fourth floor. She real low, suck me slow. 4 p.m. I gotta go, gotta stretch and hit the flow. Each day I forgot my ways. That trim undefeated, so a nigga had to change his pay. Focus on the real. Hit the books we bought. They use our life for sport. Use the game for more. Get your ends and get your broad. Huh. Yo, I'm on my Tim Spoon, 30 minutes in the room, hit the scene to see you June. He old man Marco, he old man Marco, he old man Marco, he old man Marco. Yeah, I got your mama, uh, knuckle. I got your mama looking at me, and Shaq ain't really happy cause he old man Marco, he old man Marco, he old man Marco, he old man Marco. That was a good production choice. I don't know who did that beat, but that beat was tight. Yeah, track was hard. Track was hard. Yeah, I like that beat. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like making samples on beat. That's, it was it was nice. To, but the beat can't be better than the song, man. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's gotta go. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you don't, you don't yeah. like old man Marco Los? <laughs> oh no, man, I ain't rolling with old man Marco. Man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, I, I like the beat. I like the beat for sure. I like anything like. The sample feeling too, but mm -hmm. um, I think the delivery could have been um, better on that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, other than that, I mean, I feel like it was, it was, it's what he made. It was what's what's what he thought was cool. So um, I'm with that. All right, bet we got one more, and then we're gonna go down, deliberate, and see who we think is the best, and then we'll take it from there. We got one more to go. <laughs>
Yo, so that that beat remind me of like when we first started the combo and I talked about like sound selection. It's like a, it's a cool groove, but I feel like the sounds you're trying to just fight through, like the I don't, I don't know a word to use, but they just gotta sound more authentic. You know, the guitar could sound more authentic, the drums, just the sounds. Like the groove definitely was cool, but if he would have just flip took more time to flip out them sounds and try to just find something that can just that you just you could feel a little bit more, it would it would have worked a lot better. How'd y'all feel about it? No, I like I like it. And I mean, when I when I was sitting here listening, um, you know, I like the the sounds in it. Like you said, the 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 singing that was in it, stuff like that, is really what get my attention when I hear beats. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, I like the beat. I feel like I could I could have wrote some um, just yeah. listening to it. So um, I personally like it. Wow, I liked it too. I liked it. I thought you could rap to it, you could sing to it, you know, find the right melodies to it. I like. Los, do you ever get tracks like that that maybe you like as a skeleton? That's not really maybe your vibe for your kind of song, but you take it and then add on to it and add the elements for for, for making it more yeah. relaxed. Now? Yeah, because I feel that's that's part of finding your your you know your yourself trying to find your the right the right you know song and the right you know rhythm that fits you as a artist. So um, I'll take anything. I'll take bachata. I'll take anything. <laughs> yeah. Legitimate. Uh, just try to see what you know what fits with me. So. That's dope. That's dope. Well, just like me earlier, when I had some, uh, I apologize for some of my internet trouble. I'm in a hotel in Atlanta on the road. Wow. Um, some of the contestants that joined, they were supposed to come up and join us, but they're internet. They're having some internet issues. Um, no worries. Me, Marvin, Lowe's, and Hip Boy, we're gonna go, and we're gonna pick who we think is our favorite, and then that person is gonna win a one-hour virtual studio session with Hip Boy. Listen, I've been in the game over 20 years. I can't get an hour session with. Exactly. Uh, yeah. They're gonna win an hour virtual <laughs> session with Hit Boy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bro. And Marvin and Los are gonna give you features on your song. Wow. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, let's, whatever. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. So we'll be back in a minute. We're gonna go deliberate, see who we think is the best, and then we'll come back and announce the contestant, the fan, the winner of the one-hour virtual session studio session with Hit Boy. This is the MBPA Player Con Think Four Fifty. Abajo, 
Soy, soy tu gordito, pero de oro. Si tienes frío, quita tu oso. Tengo brazos llenos de gozo. Baila con Felix, no soy celoso. Está cosno. Y tengo un Batman y Bogarts. Solo hit. Tope mucha pan y baño. Masha sweet. Mi tal loco pa' pegué, pero es que pega wit. Es que pa' mí está special, el tricky pit. Oye, morena. Vamos pa'l party. Tengo botella, eh, ay, y tengo la mari. Oye, morena, vamos pa'l party. Tengo botella, eh, ay, y tengo la mari. Ay, si te gusta el reggaetón, abajo. n i c k abajo. Nicky, Nicky, Nicky Jam, abajo. Sí, yeah. Dímelo la Arroyo, John abajo. Felix Mark, Gion. Dímelo Gion. Saca White Black. La industria índice uh. Hasta abajo, baby <laughs>
People are going to follow your style. They're going to do stuff. The sounds are going to be the same. Other artists are going to follow other artists. Producers are going to follow other producers. Um, but like gentlemen here who have made music, produce and make records, there's always a different sound that's coming. They're constantly reinventing themselves. So uh, I, think it's, yeah, I think it's important that you do that. That way you always stay ahead of the curve or just kind of like in your own lane, in your own wave. I think that's important. 1,000%. So once again, man, congratulations to Brandon. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, Hip Boy. Appreciate it. Appreciate you big time, man. And until the next one, MBPA Player Con Think 450. We appreciate you guys. Brandon, congrats. Congrats. Thank you, fellas, yes, man. Right, right. Good to meet y'all, man. Hello, all y'all. Right. Until, until the next one, guys. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, all right.